Yo, what is everyone? <laughs> How you guys been doing? My name is Trey Little or Shay by the way. And I'm here today on advance where we're gonna be hearing out that somehow the battle twenty seven got a nerf and now the HPR getting nerfed. The HPR it makes no sense to get nerfed because it was already balanced. I'm not trying to rant here, but what the heck? But I have the patch notes right here and right in front of me. I am gonna be live streaming soon, so I'm making this video go out a little, a little bit quick. But in this case, it won't be able to render that fast enough. So yeah, there's gonna be delays with all that stuff. So anyway, there's new updates. I mean, basically, you have the ability to customize score streaks with the score streaks selection menu. Okay, what does this mean? Added ability to customize score streaks in the score streaks selection menu. I think. Well, I'm not sure unless it means its own menu, but I hope not. Because I gotta check it back in. The multiplayer main menu includes friend, friends list option by default. You have the issue where the scoreboard on action after report was not high in the active player. There are I categories to armory, in this case, will be all loot, redeeming loot, time limit loot, and permanent loot. There's also a fixed issue where the page count displays it correctly and added time remaining information for all the time limited loot items. So basically, in long story short, if you have an item that's time limited, let's say for example, you brought out a you have a supply shop and you open it out and you find out that you have an elite, or should we say elite AK-12, then you notice that you probably will see a timer once you get to your armory as well too. Maybe that's the case, maybe it's not the case. I gotta look at it once again. Cause I've been out of gaming, but I had looking at the update to see what's going on correctly. Now, you also have the momentum mantle for prompting overlapping the dull XP indicator. Okay, that's kind of weird. Now, whenever you pick up a new gun in weapon looting, it'll be added like a reload, low ammo or no ammo HUD notification as well. There are stress weapons loot fix. No loot fix. Yeah, fix stress weapon loot icon and kill feeds. Kill feeds, kill cam feeds, I meant to say, if I'm correct. Because I really messed up. So, that was one thing. Now, weapon balancing, I might go ahead on to. Now, what they discovered was about 27, the HBRE3, the ASM1, the MP11, EM1, the EPM3, XMG, the Melee, and the Pi Tech, if, I'm, if I said it right. Now, here's the thing, I'm going to try to pop up some of these things on your screen right now, like say for the, say for the gun, and then the damage, or what sort of max range, or what sort of anything else. But, here's the thing, about 27, the damage has been reduced, the max damage has... The max damage range has been decreased. The world recoil has been adjusted as well too. So in this case, the, it looked like it's been nerfed, but some people are saying it's still kind of good. Not too strong from before, but it's still good. Because the Battle 27 was like the first gun you get, get unlocked, and its, and its damage was like incredible. You would be able to take out enemies like this. I mean, if you do notice, if you've seen in the MLG Columbus open, you have seen FaZe, Optic, and any other clans, any other clan, MLG clans, that used the Battle 27, like, overused it. I can't believe it. So that's one thing. Now, the HBR-83, the max damage range has been, excuse me, decreased. Wow, I almost slipped out. Decreased. Now, this is where it does not make any sense. I mean, if the Battle, I mean the Battle, the HBR-83 is balanced. Why does this still need to be nerfed? I mean, it's not that. I mean, now you need to go ahead and go close range for this gun. It makes it absolutely crazy and pathetic. The SM1 and the MP11, they have the damage range increase. So now this makes it a point where you're gonna get outgunned with SMGs. Not all of them, just these two. So now the SM1 was the second gun that you unlock before the KF5, and this gun. I tried it out, it was pretty nasty. I mean not not bad, but it's good. But now with the damage range increased, there is actually a point for me to use the SMG. The MP11 max damage increase, I went like, oh man, you kidding me? Cause the MP11 is like my PP90. Do you get what I'm saying? My PP90, my bison, my uh MSMC, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> The EM1, damage increased. The EPM3, damage increased, but the ADS time has been decreased. So now these two have a damage increase, and it makes a reason why you want to use these LMG, or should we say LMKG, <laughs> get it? Light machine gun 
light machine, connect, energy, guns, useful. Why? Because the damage has been increased. That means that if you know it's from post patch, it was not that great. Including the MPM3, it was garbage like heck. But now the MPM3 has a reasoning because now you're going to be able to see, like, I don't know, three shot or two shot. Three shot or four shot kill because it overheats. If you have the heat sink, then you don't have to worry. Wow, we really over some time. The XMG, damage increased, but lockdown mode has been increased. I have no idea how it's been increased, but I know the damage has been increased. That's one thing. The Amelia, last thing, Amelia and Pi Tech, the damage has been increased. So I have tried that Amelia out. I'm going to show you a post patch version of it. I will, I'm not sure about doing a a after patch, but I don't have the gameplay for that one as well too. So another UI update will be including the A4 weapon, including challenges. So now you have the challenges up. Makes absolutely no sense, but you could have done it on Tuesday once the once we all get the EA4. Oh, by the way, here's something that you need to see. Challenge updates: the far, the fixed far side challenge requiring long shots. It takes three to complete. Superstar challenge. It did not prompt the player that six or more player, players need to needed to complete the challenge. And the fixed issue for crushing victory, where the challenge would not track properly when there are at least six players in the match. So these challenges, I do not know them exactly, but I heard about one of them. But wow, this is really different. So now the game was also have been patched. I will not display all of them, but you gotta look that up on not on Google, but I'm gonna have it, the link in the description below. So easy guys, that's about it. How many minutes we oh god, this is not crap. We're not gonna be able to run it on time. So excuse me. Anyway guys, make sure you're old or shave it away. I'm not me out. I hope you guys kinda enjoy it. Did enjoy this patch update because there are some things that I can disagree for the patch in, in weapons wise. Some weapons I can uh, disagree, but I can also agree with at the same time. Mm -hmm. But if you did enjoy the video, then go ahead and press that like button. If you're new on my channel, hit the subscribe button. And I will see all you guys later.